go video ranting ranting video and we're just gonna do a talk with a thought but here we go so i'm gonna get right to the point no beating around the bush the home run is in the research okay and the research of what you might ask is a great question so this is the question that i'm gonna uh answer the best i can so the home run is in the arts category, all right? Whether it be a painting, whether it be sculpture, whether it be uh, uh, a painting, <laughs> or whether it be some kind of sculpture or something old, like an antique, um, you know, a, a photo, uh, a moment in time, something like that. History. Those are the home run. Those are the home run categories. Those are the retirement categories, and I think a lot of people don't put a lot of time into that. So, I'm just trying to bring it to your attention that, that there are categories that can, you know, set you up for life. You know, we got the guy in Massachusetts. He found the painting. You know, he found it in 2017. We're still talking about it in 2021. Yes, he hasn't sold it yet. So I wanted to cover that by somebody being like, you know, like what's the home run in art? And then you got to sit on it for four years and and still have it and still have to pay your mortgage, you know? So you, still, you got this $5 million piece of art and you had to hold on to it for four years before you could even gather any funds from it and it's pretty much going to cost you a bunch of money to uh do real real research on it you know unless if you know you're going to contract it out people are going to take a cut something like that i don't know how it's going to really go shake out for you but because i haven't found anything worth um you know a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars but um i have found lots of stuff that are worth like 10 grand um so and i'm just saying and if i've had many opportunities not many but i've had multiple opportunities where i could get definitely near close to the home run in for pennies and and not have the capital to be able to buy it so i don't want to be like yeah, you got to dive into higher end categories, basically. And I think everyone's fallen trapped to anything that's like $500 and under. I understand that's, yeah, but I really think you got to put $1,000 items or $10,000 items into your wheelhouse or even be able to uh, get a $10,000 sale under your belt or something to be being able to feel a little bit more confident about going down that road. But I really think the home run is in those categories and, and everybody should be looking for that um, because it's kind of like a lottery ticket at this point. Um, you know, the only people that are really going to hit it are us, you know. So um, do some more research. Dive into something that you might like you know, of one of the categories that are in these, you know, arts categories or sculpture or history, um, signatures or, um, just stuff like that. Um, and I just wanted to cover that, you know, I, I, I'm a little aggravated that everyone's fallen trapped to just go into the thrift store and looking for, you know, the basic clothing that they're always going to be looking for, you know, their, their name brands, their brands, they're looking for their brands and, or even us just going to the estate sale and hunting the same old items. Like, you know, like you're pretty much looking for the same thing that I, you know, something that maybe you sold three years ago. Well, yeah, I know, you know, you get good money for that. So you're looking for that and everything else that you've ever sold. So um, then you're looking for everything that you've ever researched. Yeah, I get that. So I'm just saying, 
the money's in the research. So you got to do the research to be able to do it because you're not going to be able to buy a lot of high-end items and do the research like we do with buying a lot of items in an estate sale, you know, pay a $500 for all the stuff that I fit in my car, I bring it home and I research it, right? Yes, there there could be the home run in there, absolutely. But I think if you dove into the higher end categories and the things that I'm talking about, you're going to have a better chance of finding the real home run. All right, let's get be real with the real home run, like the retirement home run. Um, and yet again, a $10,000 item, yeah, it's going to be hard to sell it. All right, it's going to. It's when it gets into that amount of money, you know, it's particular. Only so many people can buy it. Um, so many people are looking for that. So many people only have a budget for certain things. So yeah, I get that. And um, but let's just say, you know, you found a Picasso and you know, you don't have a buyer lined up. I mean, at least you still own a Picasso, you know? So th think of it that way, you know, um, you probably could borrow money on it too. If you, if you had it and it was certified, you know, you could probably borrow money on, on your painting, um, without a buyer. So I'm just saying, um, you know, it's like assets at that point. Um, and, you know, still grow your business because, like, you know, you got to still grow as you're looking for it. Um, and then when you find it, you can still grow. And then you can still offload. You can do whatever you want, you know. The, 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 uh, <laughs> what was, what was my saying <laughs> that I made up? Uh, life is like a canvas. You just got to, you know, life is like a canvas. It's blank, you know. You just gotta paint, paint your paint your picture. You know, if you if you want something, you gotta paint your way and how to get there. You know, or you think someone's just gonna like pick you up and drop you off every time where you want to be in life? It, it ain't gonna happen like that. I'm sorry, unless if you're like you know some trust fund baby where you got millions of dollars, it might be able to happen like that for you. But a lot of us aren't like that, so you gotta you gotta work at it. And, and even them, they got to work at it a little bit, you know, you got to have an idea of what you want to do and what your plan is. So, um, I'm really trying to incorporate a little bit of that. And yeah, you can put, you can, you can have liabilities of blowing your budget way faster, uh, sitting on high end items longer. Yeah. I uh, I get that, but you can still re do the research while still thrifting and doing everything else, you know? You should at least put an hour of research into the home run category of your choosing or just a couple or whatever. Pick out how you want to do it. I'm just saying. Um, all right. I'm done ranting. <laughs> um, yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Later. Hope you find that present. Hope you find that money. Hope you find that painting. Unless if I find it first. If I'm first in line. Peace.